Hustler here, and today I have another very special guest, Rich TV Live. How's it going, Rich? Unbelievable, man. How are you? It's going great, man. It's going great. So, so me and Rich already done a collab before, and it has been very successful. As you can see here, we have a collab. It's titled Aurora Cannabis Predictions, Top 3 Stocks, November 2018, with Rich TV Live. We already have 9.7K views, so nine, almost 10,000 views. So what? if you guys haven't checked that video out, check it out. What? People are loving it. 300 likes, almost 10,000 views. And um, no. so we, we people want to see more Rich. So I got Rich here again, and we're here to talk about the cannabis sector. So what, what do you think about today's Green Day, Rich? I'm loving it, man. You know, as predicted, you know, everybody was panicking when it was in the red. I'm like, guys, this is the time to buy you know, and I told everybody I bought Alifia Health, which I yep. sold today for a profit. I told everybody about it. I bought Ceneva, which I sold yep. today for a profit. I told everybody that I bought Rivers. I'm almost in profit on that. I told everybody I bought uh, Astralis. That's been yep. climbing. And uh, yesterday, and, and I told everybody I bought T God, and T God is obviously on fire today. And yesterday yep. I bought more T God, a thousand shares of T God. And I oh, bought uh, T God yesterday. Yeah, and I bought Aurora Cannabis yesterday. And I bought Astralis Warrants, AUSA.WT. So yeah, when I saw T got under $3, I immediately went and did a limit order at eight two eighty seven. dollars uh -huh. I didn't get filled at two eighty seven, dollars So then I got choked. And then I just did a market order and I ended up getting it at like $2.95, $2 something like that. Um, which wasn't the best execution. Yeah. You know, like I got to be more patient. But anyways, I just wanted to get in. Whatever. I was like, yeah. I'm getting in and uh, cause I had to lower my cost because I got in a little bit higher earlier and I lowered my cost down to about 341 right now. Yeah. And so now it's been climbing and what is it at 346? Yeah. So I'm in the green now. 20% right now. Yeah. So I'm in the green now officially and I bought that last Friday. So out That's of awesome. all the picks I've bought in the last week, all of them have been in the green, including Cali, which is huge up today again today. Can you pull up Cali? Uh, what's their ticker symbol? K A L Y. Um, just give me a second. Cali K Inc. in America. L it's a sub penny one that everyone in my community, including myself, has been making money with. Cali, Cali Inc. or Cali? Cali no, Cali Inc. All right, let's look up Cali. Yeah, this one is a. It's careful wow, with this. Cali's it's a, up forty five percent. Yeah, it's a sub penny stock. Be careful with this, but it's up like over two thousand percent in the last two weeks. Look at the two week chart. Yeah, um, it does. Let's look at the. I guess one month chart. Yeah, look um, at the one month chart. It's insane. Oh wow! Yep. <laughs> so it, it went from literally um, the bottom. Like the bottom, what is that point zero 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 five of a penny to now it's at point zero zero six four, so it's 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 went up a lot. That's I think that's even more than a thousand percent. Yeah, it's up over two thousand percent in the last two weeks, bro. Wow. So yeah, our crazy. community is making money on this stock. I made money on this stock. I did a video on it. I talked. I told everyone when I got in. I told everyone when I got out. It how went much, up even higher you? than when I got out. It came down, you can see, it came down to three. Yeah. It came down to 0037. I saw it at 0037, I was in the community, I was like, yo guys, this thing's down, it's either gonna go way down now, or it's gonna come back up and bam, the reversal, yeah. the reversal. So you yeah. see the power there, and this is a stock that's got power behind it. So yeah, man, I'm excited about it, but it's a penny stock, it's got a stop sign, it's got lots of shares, be very careful. It is yeah, a that's very risky pick. For very sure. Very risky any, pick. Any sub penny stock is very risky. But it's getting in the cannabis sector. So yeah. anything that starts talking about cannabis that starts to explode, like we want to watch it. Right? Yeah. And if it's going to go up 2,000%, we want to be a part of it. That's For just sure. what our community is all about. Like the Rich TV Live community is about finding these types of picks. You know? Like these are the picks that will change your life, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Two thousand percent. If you, I think, if you invest one thousand dollars, that's that's two million, or is that two hundred? That should be two million. No, right? no. If you invest, no, it's two thousand percent is twenty times your money. So if you invest a thousand dollars, you'll make twenty grand. Oh, two, no, thousand. That would be two hundred thousand. It, it's no, only twenty. Twenty grand. Million? Twenty times your money. So on a thousand dollars, you make twenty grand. 
That's still not bad. On ten grand, you would make two hundred grand. Yeah. On a hundred grand, you would make two million. Yeah, you're right. My math was way off. Oh, buddy, I know these numbers intrinsically, man. Because believe yeah. me, man, I'm in this game deep. <laughs> I'm in this game deep, bro. What do you mean? We know these yeah. numbers. I know these numbers, man. I'm buying these stocks. I know. You're I, killing it, Rich. You're killing it. Those those are some nice gains. Two thousand percent. No, I didn't buy it for a two thousand percent gain. Oh. I wish I did. How, how much but, how much gains did you make? Uh I should have made two grand, but I made a mistake on my trade. I did a market order instead of a limit order. Because it was a penny stock and it was moving very fast and I tried to just get quick execution. But I don't feel like I got the best execution. So I, I made about 1500 bucks. That's still money. That's in two hours. Money. Yeah. In two hours. So yeah. should have been and two what, grand. Should have been over two think, grand. But What do you think about Apria and their new IPO in the New York Stock Exchange? And um, they're only up 4% today. but I love it. And their, ticker symbol, their ticker symbol changed to APHA. It's no longer APH. Yeah, I love it, man. You know, what's not to love? Afri is a beast, man. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna buy anything over ten bucks. I like to just kind of like buy the things under ten bucks, and then when they go over ten bucks, I sell. That's kind of yeah. my thing. But um, you know, like if you want to buy it, it's a good company. They make money. They're a global company. They have huge potential. They're in the top three. They're right yeah. there with uh, Canopy Growth being number one, Aurora Cannabis being number two, and then Afri being number three, in my opinion. And yeah. There's companies like T-God that I believe are undervalued that have a ton of money in the bank, 355 million. They're globally as well. They're growing in multiple continents and uh, they're undervalued. They're one of the only stocks that's undervalued in my opinion. Um, so is Oxley. I believe Oxley's undervalued. I believe Oxley is going to be huge. They're a 10X potential company in my opinion. So for me, I'm trying to find the ones that are undervalued when they start getting really expensive, that's when I start getting, I don't know. Once they get over 10 bucks, I'm not really as interested. So how about Aurora at nine bucks right now? I bought it yesterday, right? So I saw them at 15 and I'm like, well. At 15, Aurora? Yeah, I remember mean? when it hit 15? Like oh, okay, two weeks okay, ago? Okay, I thought you said yesterday they were at 15. No, 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 I bought it yesterday because I was like, they're at 15 two weeks ago. So okay. let me just buy it, you know? They're on the New York Stock Exchange. I feel good about it. It's going to go up. This is, this is the beginning of, of a bunch of green days or you think this is a, a nice little bull trap and it's going to have a pullback and then... I, I, I've been telling everybody since the beginning, man, there was going to be a correction and then there's going to be a resurrection. So Correct. nothing that they're doing is surprising. There, there has yet to be an explosion. This is not the explosion yet. Yeah. Believe me, yeah, this, this is, is not nothing. the explosion like, yet. Because if, if you look at the... If you look at the charts, it's it's barely moved up to compare to how it was like a month ago. I made a prediction with departures capital. I said we will have an explosion between now and Christmas. Yeah. You heard it here first from your boy Rich. We will have an explosion between now and Christmas. We had the correction. Now you're gonna see the resurrection. So so would you recommend? I know we're not allowed to. This is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes but would you recommend aurora as a buy or is that or, or you just should wait for a, uh, for a dip what do you think i think aurora is uh, an amazing company and i bought it yesterday because yep. based on the chart like look at that chart mm -hmm. i bought it at the bottom of the chart so yep. you know i'm not buying at the top of the chart i try to buy at the bottom of the chart and sell at the top of the chart so if i can buy it at you know 8 bucks and it goes to 15 I'll be happy with my trade. Right? You're almost doubling your money. Then. I didn't buy a lot of it. I only bought a little bit because I was just kind of like, okay, let me see, you know? Um, but right now I'm really focused on Aurora and T God. A T -God. lot. Yep. Yeah. -God. And Astralis and Rivers. I really, really, I want a lot of those four. A lot. A lot Canopy a lot. Rivers, right? Yeah, man. And you said Canopy Rivers is, uh, is what is it, Canopy 2.0? Canopy 2.0, bro. Yep, Canopy Rivers is up 4.4% today. So the whole marijuana sector is doing good. I think the only company that's in the red is Tilray. So what do you think about Tilray? Like I said, man, once it starts getting over 10 bucks, I'm not interested. It's just not for me. You know, yeah. like when they start getting over $10, it's just not in my wheelhouse. You know, like I want them... 
I want them when they're cheap, man. You know, like I want them when they're like sub penny to ten bucks. Yeah. That's my wheelhouse. That's what our community wants to find. Once they go over ten bucks, let the big boys play with that. I'm not a big boy. I want to play. I want to do my research and find the undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed monsters, giants. Oxley's a giant. Vivo's a giant. You know, like these are companies that have tons of money in the bank, unbelievable licenses to do tons of business. They just aren't doing well with their stock. So either they're going to get acquired or they're going to get it together. T God has been much higher. This is nothing short of a Christmas present. So I had to buy it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm willing to buy more. I'm not surprised that T God's going up. I've been telling everybody it is the yep. most undervalued. I told everybody today when it hit 245. It is the most undervalued $2.45 stock in the world. Mm -hmm. That's what I said to my community today. I go, show me another $2.45 stock in the world in the world with no debt and $355 million in the bank and growing cannabis all over the world. <laughs> Not to mention it's organic, so that alone will attract a lot of people. And it's just getting started, man. Yeah. It's just getting started. Started. So we're in. We're in early. We're first movers. So I'm not surprised with anything that happens, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not surprised at anything that happens. Like, this industry is explosive. This industry is powerful. People want to short this industry. I'm calling out all the shorters, okay? Uh -huh. I'm calling out all the shorters. You guys are shorting the wrong industry. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. We are at war. Mm hmm. We're at war. This industry will, we may win, we may lose the battle. We will win the war. Yes. <laughs> so, so speaking of shorters, I don't know. Um, I have heard that you talked to Andrew Left. Is there anything you can speak about that or is that? Well, we don't actually speak. It's more like email conversation. Yeah. But I do know that Andrew Left is not a big fan of Namaste. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wants to focus on the fact that their financials are unaudited and the fact that they um, have a net loss. But yeah. at the end of the day, my job is to just read the news. I do not want to get into the battle between the companies and the shorters. Like, I'm not in the battle. My job is to break the news. I break the news. I break the news. I read the news. Once the news is public, I break that news. That's my job. That's what I do. That's my that's my platform. There's a lot of guys that want to you know tell me what I should say and what I should do. I'm not going to say and do what any, anyone else wants me to say or do. Rich TV Live is my platform. So exactly. I'm going to say and do what I want to say and do, and I'm going to support the companies the way I want to support the companies. And if you don't like it, short it. Go ahead, short everything I talk about. They and shorted Cali. And look what happened with Cali. Cali bounced right back. They shorted T God. What happened with T God? It bounced right back. So when they're shorting the stocks that I'm talking about, no problem. I'm gonna buy them when they're red, because that's what I do. So way, thank you very you much, out. guys, for shorting those stocks. Because so they go down, you your boy Rich picks them up cheap, and then they bounce up. Exactly. And then we're in the money. Like I'm in the money right now. I kind of want to go to my account and look at it because my T God is up right now. So everything is climbing that I brought to you guys last Friday and I told you guys what stocks I bought. I told you guys now that I'm selling. I have no emotion, guys. As soon as I'm up 10% or more, my finger is ready to sell. Honestly, I don't care. You got that trigger finger. Hey, man. That's good, man. This, so people what do like, you why, about? how do you trade like this? Okay, if it goes in the red, I buy it. If it goes down more, I lower my cost. I buy more. I lowered my cost yesterday on TGOT. Now I'm in the green. That's yeah. how you trade. You don't sell for a loss. You buy, more on, especially with good companies. Good companies are very forgiving. They will yeah. come back. Good companies will come back. Okay? So look at the charts of good companies. Facebook. Look at the charts of Amazon. Look at the chart of Apple. Look at the chart of Google. Good companies go up. Okay? So yeah, they may come down short term. But long term, they're going to go up. Look at the chart of Aurora Cannabis. Why did I buy Aurora Cannabis at $8? Why did I sell at $13? <laughs> look at the numbers I'm buying in and look at the numbers I'm selling. So when it goes back to $13, what do you think I'm going to probably do? 
sell. <laughs> exactly. So you already know how I'm trading. Yeah, I'm sure. trying to make it clear for people. I can't tell you guys how to trade. I'm just trying to show you guys how I trade. Yeah. Right. And well, so, yeah. and it works. Like there's no reason to take an L. Yeah. So exactly. So when you see a good company crash or, or have a slight correction in a way that creates a good buying opportunity, Correct. people shouldn't panic. Instead, they should be being open. They should be more opening open to purchasing that company. So yeah, that's great advice, Rich. That's how I do it, man. And there's no reason in this industry to panic sell. This industry is very forgiving. If you panic sold all your stock, right now you're kicking yourself. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So how about Planet 13? There, I, I love Planet 13. I, I own some Planet 13 shares. They're up 20% today. What do you think about Planet 13? I know you spoke a lot about Planet 13. Um, let me hear your thoughts on Planet 13. I love them. Uh, you know, they're going after that Vegas market. And yep. I love Vegas, man. Like Vegas is like, you know, the bright lights of Vegas. Like we're like, I don't know, man. Like Vegas is just one of those places. It's got energy, you know, like the boxing and everything. Everything happens in Vegas. So yeah, like, I don't know. It's just one of those things, man. So yeah, like it's one of those companies that has enormous potential. They're making money. They're in the right markets. They're, yep. they're, they're in America where I see the huge potential for cannabis. So yeah, I, I, I just think that like up 18% right now. Yep. Up 18.74%. You can see this nice green candle right here. They're up big today. My goodness. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking I might just sell some shares cause I, I might dip down and then I'll buy it back up in the cheap. We make you money people. We're a fabulous Friday. It's true. Yep. Get some money for the weekend. Remember, guys, um, Rich TV I, I Live is strictly for education and entertainment all purposes. All do your due yep. diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. I am not a licensed advisor. Do your own due diligence. If you need anything, data services for your public company, your private company, we got that. You guys need CBDs, we got CBDs. You need to work under a licensed LP, we got licensed LPs. Whatever you guys need, you need media services, digital advertising media services. Your boy, Rich, Investing Hustler, we got you. Holler at your boy. RichTVLive at gmail.com. Holler at your boy. You can go to www.richtvlive.com. Holler at your boy, man. We're here. 